Is the Tamiya TT02 any good for beginner drivers? Let's find out, shall we? Roll the intros. Hello YouTubers and welcome back to Channels for Bodling. I'm Peter. As the title suggests today, we are going to be taking the Tamiya TT02 Zac Speed Ford Capri and we're going to put it on different speed settings and we're going to monitor the speed of the each of the settings on a um, Sky RC speedometer uh, which is going to be positioned on top of the car and we're going to see if it's any good for a beginner coming into the RC world. Now, Tamiya's, as we all know, they are 99.9% .9 are usually kit builds. Now, the controller that I'm using today is a Spectrum SLT2, and on the back, it has three speed settings, 50%, 75%, and 100%. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure the speed of each of the three individual speed settings. So I'm going to spin the camera around. Uh, in the car itself, it's got a Volts 500, sorry, 500, 5000 milliamp two cell LiPo. And obviously we're using this and the Core IC uh, speedometer. So we're going to get straight to the action. So as you can see, guys, I've got the Spectrum SLT2 set to 50%. The car is down there, and we're going to take it for being around the roads. Now that is full throttle on 50%. It's the joy of the first steps Ooh, of a child. My truck is driving. It's the joy of your great grandmother's smile. came a long way, but we ain't slowing down, we got a strong pace, no we ain't losing ground, we Bring won't give up and, and we done. won't turn around, no, look at the big wide world Thanks we're living in, yeah, I'll keep running until I discover it, you make friends all along the way to break bread on Obviously another day. Always there to give you advice, hope you find the wrong from the right. Even when you're not in their sight, you'll be alright. Just look at the big wide world we're living in. Yeah. Just keep running until you discover it. Yeah. You'll be amazed at how far we can go. Turn it up to sitting have a way of waking up, starting my own. Straight away, I hope you never get it. A lot more fun. We'll try everything to get it. A lot more speed. Look at the big wide world we're living in. It's quite cold, so it's not exactly the warmest day to warm the cold up. Thank you. 
it's literally one mile an hour. Maybe it might have been a 22, 23 if the uh, tyres are more warmer and the lipo was warmed up. So I'm going to quickly spin this around guys on the tarmac and see if I can actually get this up any higher. Now after a few minutes I've run it around I have managed to clock up 22 miles an hour. So I can safely say that with the Tamiya TTO2 and with a Spectrum radio and receiver set um yeah i think this could be for a beginner now also what i'm going to do is i'm going to point the camera down here pop the car back down grab the radio Now I'm going to use these two manhole covers as, bring you zoom you out a little bit guys and bring you in a bit more, that's better, as try and do a figure of eight. Now as you can see that's full lock, is it good for learning how to steer, you're obviously going in from a left into a right. Now if you've got a couple of drain oil covers outside your house and you're a beginner, I would highly recommend trying to do this and learning you know, how to steer, brake at the same time. But I would definitely say that Tamiya TTO2s are definitely beginner friendly. Especially if you're using the uh, Spectrum radio and receiver set. And also, doing figure of eight, it also teaches you to when to have power on, when to come off, when to steer. See, obviously I went round that one then just a little bit too fast. So I went wide, again I went wide again. So I'm going to stop the camera here guys and then we're going to have a bit of a conclusion. Another little thing I'm going to do guys, again using the two man or covers. You try and do like a little mini lap of what you could try and do, like it's full, almost getting a full power, slow it down. Oh, gone well wide there. Kind of through like a chicane. Keep the car steady. Or try to, he says. Round the first, round the second. Oh, click the corner on the edge. So as you can see, you know, this car is very good, or these cars are absolutely brilliant if you learn to do like, you know, like, I don't know, racing kind of thing. So if you can make up your own little tiny race track where you live, or if you've got a club where you can run these and join a club, The more you do it, the better you're going to get. So again, I've gone too much power in there, went very wide, had to correct a lot of the steering. Let's just do one more before the conclusion, see if I can get it right this time. Off the power, round the first, round the second, oh, and a clip. So again, you know, the more you do, the practice, the better you're going to be. So, yes, I would definitely highly recommend a Tamiya TTO2 or a TTO1 as a beginner ready car. Now, like I said, these are kits, so these are a good way of learning how your car works and how your car is built. And it gives you the satisfaction of actually building one of these. Now, I obviously didn't build this. My friend Chris from Chris with a CRC um, built this one and I bought it off of him. But this is the kind of thing where you can buy the chassis with a shell and then you can just buy other shells 
and pop it on your car so you can turn it from a Ford Capri to a Ford Escort, Ford Cosworth. You know, there's loads of body shells in the Tamiya TTO2 range that you could change this into. So yeah, I would definitely recommend um, buying one of these cars and they are beginner friendly. And at the price point of about £120 for, um, you know, beginner, it's an easy way to get into the hobby. And you can pick up pretty cheap, um, cheap receivers and um, radio sets. Excuse my neighbours, they are a bit gobby. I hope you've enjoyed this video guys as always I've enjoyed making it for you um, sorry for not being around for the past few weeks um, just been having a bit of time off away from YouTube spending time with family now it's the school holidays no more school runs for six weeks yay um, hopefully I might be able to get some more time with me RC's um, there is something in the pipeline so soon coming to the channel hopefully within the next week or two So that will be another video coming up soon uh, for something different uh, for the channel It's not a car this time. It is an RC But I'll leave it at that um, Hope you enjoyed this channel guys. I'm not going to offer it anymore. If you have enjoyed this channel, please smash that like button down on the um, Left hand side and if you want to become a subscriber of mine then all you have to do is click on the subscribe button down on the right hand side if you're a subscriber of mine thank you for staying with me hope you're still enjoying the content hope that you enjoy the future content as well if you want to carry on watching videos from our channel there should be a link coming up here and here until the next time guys look after yourselves protect your loved ones but above all happy modeling and bye bye from channel modeling